welcome back to the channel thank you so much for coming back today's video is another natural hair video today we're actually going to be doing somewhat of an experiment so I did the rice water rinse video a while back I think about four or five months ago and you guys just went crazy over that video that video has the highest view on my channel first of all I want to say thank you guys for that secondly just because a lot of people have seen the video you guys have had so many questions so I just wanted to come back to you guys with a new and improved recipe and also to walk you guys step by step through the process of how I make my rice water rinse so in today's video we are going to be doing an experiment so instead of making and keeping the rice water for only 24 hours I'm gonna keep it for a whole week and I'm gonna tweak the recipe a little bit more especially with suggestions that you guys have been given just so I can see what the process and the progress is going to be I'm excited I showed you guys last time I did the rice water for two weeks and I showed you guys that I had a whole bunch of new growth and I was very very satisfied with the results and in fact I am a hundred percent sure that rice water works because I'm a witness I've tried it many times and it works for me but I just want to see how this new recipe is gonna work out so as I said this is a little bit of an experiment because one question that I kept getting a lot was what if you keep the rice water for more than 24 hours because when I did it in that video I only kept the rice water or I only fermented the rice water for about 24 hours so a lot of you guys were asking what if you make your rice water but you're not able to use it right away so maybe you have it fermented for a few days and also there is a new craze going on around YouTube especially in the natural hair community about the Yao women so the Yao women, for those of you guys who don't know, are Asian women who have the longest hair, I think in the world. They have really, really long hair and they credit that to rice water. So they have their recipe. It's similar to what I use, but it's a little different. So a lot of you guys have been asking me about that as well. So I wanna take it step by step. So in today's video, we are going to be doing an experiment. So instead of making and keeping the rice water for only 24 hours, I'm gonna keep it for a whole week and also, I'm also going to be doing the Yao women recipe as well so that is not going to be in this video that is going to be in the next rice water video but I just wanted to do this experiment so you guys can see so this right here is our magic potion this is our new and improved recipe this is one week of fermented rice water this is what it looks like as you can see on the top there the color is a little different it's not clear it has like an orange kind of color and it has some things in there we're gonna talk about all of that I'm gonna walk you guys step by step through how I made this so this is ready to basically be sprayed onto my hair and um, washed out so before we go through all of that let me tell you guys one of the reasons why people love love rice water first of all the first thing about rice water is it's packed in protein and everybody knows that protein is amazing for your hair not too much protein but just the right amount of protein is great for your hair other great benefits of rice water is the fact that it has vitamin B antioxidants amino acid vitamin E and minerals so all these great properties in one jar what could go wrong well we're gonna test that I'm gonna go ahead and spray this onto my hair I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit I'm also gonna go ahead and wash it out braid my hair up for two weeks just like I did last time and then I'll come back to you guys with the results just like last time I want to see how much growth I get this time so will the growth be more just because we um, fermented the rice for longer will my hair be shinier like what's gonna happen I'm excited to know what's gonna happen and I want to find out with you guys so stick around but first thing first let me show you guys how I make my rice water Okay family, let's go ahead and get started here. I have my rice and a clear bowl. I also have this measuring cup. It doesn't really matter the measurement. I just needed something to be able to scoop up the rice with. But in this case, I will be using half a cup of rice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my water to rinse off the rice. In this case, I'm also using warm water. Again, it doesn't really matter the measurement as long as you're using enough water to rinse off your rice. So all I'm doing here is I'm just taking the rice and rubbing it through my fingers and between my hands just to get all the dirt, debris, and chemicals off the rice from when it was processed. 
This step is very important because you need to clean your rice in order to use it. So after I wash my rice, I'm just going to go ahead and drain off all the water. And if you need to, you can rinse it as many times as you want. But in this case, one time was enough for me. So now I'm just going to go ahead and transfer my rice to my mason jar. The mason jar is very important because you need something to be able to seal off your rice. So there is absolutely no interference from air to your rice. After that, I'm going to be using orange peel to try and mask the smell because if you haven't heard before rice water smells really bad after it's fermented so orange pills essential oils or anything that's going to be able to help you mask the smell is very important in this case i'm going to use my orange pill but this time i'm going to add some essential oil and the one i'm using this time is lavender oil this smells absolutely amazing so i'm just gonna put a few drops in it's up to you how much you want to put in just make sure you're not putting too much in after that i'm going to seal up my rice making sure that it is completely sealed and this is what it looks like so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to set it in a dark corner and let it sit there for one full week Okay, this is our rice water. As you can see, it has this little boiling, fizzing thing going on. That is because that thing has been sitting there for literally seven days. Okay, it is completely fermented. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up here. This is what it looks like from the inside. It looks pretty, y'all. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to use this spray bottle to transfer my rice water to the spray bottle. I don't have a funnel because I don't know where I put my funnel. So I'm going to use this paper plate to make a funnel. But first thing first, I have to empty out my rice water from the mason jar. So I'm just going to pour all the contents in here. And then I'm going to take out my orange pills because we don't need it anymore. And then I'm going to make sure to mix the rice really good to get all the nutrients out. And then I'll take that and transfer it to my spray bottle. Okay, so we have all our rice water in here. I'm just going to take the lid and place it back onto the spray bottle. Okay, family, so here we are. It's approximately seven, eight days. It's eight days later. So I fermented the rice for seven days. Today is day eight because I was too busy to do it on the seventh day, but that's fine. We got this. So I have my rice water here. I've already emptied it into the bottle. So see how it has that yellowish, greenish look? That is from the orange peel and the lavender essential oil. So if you just did plain rice water, it would look white with a um, cloudy consistency. So don't worry if your water looks like this. That is only because I added some stuff to it to, um, I guess, take away the smell. And let me tell you guys, this smells amazing. It actually does smell amazing. The first time I did it, it smelled really bad because I didn't put anything in it. Second time I did it, I put only orange pills in it. Third time I put lavender oil. And let me tell you, that made a whole lot of difference. So this does not smell bad at all. It actually smells good. So we have our rice water. I hope this is enough for my hair. It should be enough. So now I'm going to go ahead and spray the rice water onto my hair. This is from a really old twist out. I want to say from about a week ago. So I'm just going to go ahead and section off my hair and, um, you know, spray on my rice water. You guys know that I don't like to leave my hair open when I wash it, especially when I do it myself, just because it's a lot of work for me. My hair is really curly. Like, look at that. It's super curly and I don't have time to like try to detangle this before I wash my hair and then detangle it after I wash it. So when I twist it up or braid it up, it just makes my life way easier because that way I only have to detangle once, which is before I wash it. And then once it's washed, 
I can go ahead and um, let it air dry because it's already braided or twisted up. So I have a comb here. I'm probably not gonna use it, but I have it there if I need it. I'm gonna use my fingers to part my hair, section it off, and then spray my rice water on, let it sit, and go wash it out. So let's get into it. Okay, so. So we are on the last twist here. Let me show you guys from the back. So this is the last twist. I'm just gonna go ahead and twist it up. And then I'm gonna decide which one to go with first. So there we go. Okay, so our hair is twisted. I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying. Okay. See that? So I have my detangler here. I'm gonna go ahead and start to detangle from the bottom. Work my way up. You guys know I like to be very gentle with my hair, so please do the same. You don't need to be ripping through your hair and, you know, breaking it or ripping it apart. It's just not necessary. Just be very gentle. Take all the time you need. If you don't have time to do your hair, save it for another day when you do have time. Don't do it in a rush. Natural hair cannot and will not be done in a rush. So that's just my tip. Take your good old time and just do it gently. Your hair deserves it. Okay, so see that? No shedding whatsoever. No shedding at all. Okay, so I think it's completely detangled. So I'm gonna go ahead and twist it back up. And that's how I'm gonna wash it. Okay, that's our first twist. It's completely saturated with the rice water. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. So one of the questions I get asked a lot is when to apply the rice water. For me, the way I like to do it is, you guys know that I've said this a thousand times, I don't like to wash my own hair. It's a long process and it takes all day. So anything that's gonna um, save me time, that's what I go for. So I waited to wash my hair. I normally do it every two weeks. So this is gonna be my second week without washing my hair. And so I'm gonna apply the rice water, let it sit, wash it out, and then shampoo, condition, and do all of that to my hair. So personally, I like to do it before I shampoo and condition my hair. A lot of people like to do it after. You do what works for you, but this is what works for me. And also, the reason I like to do it that way is, again, rice water has a lot of protein, and sometimes it can leave your hair really dry. So, because it leaves your hair super dry, and sometimes people even damage their hair doing this. So if you guys are gonna do this, let me just say be very 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 careful and do a lot of research before you do it so again the reason I like to do it that way is once I apply the rice water I let it sit for a while it does its work and then I go and wash my hair and deep condition it after that I like to apply my leave-in conditioners my oils and just everything else to make sure that my hair is fully moisturized before I go into a protective style that way I know that I'm doing everything to protect my hair from breaking or getting damaged due to rice water. So that is the method I use. If you guys wanna use that, I encourage you to try it out. But you do what works for you. Okay, family, so all my hair is twisted up, as you can see. Now, I'm gonna use a plastic bag to wrap my hair up. So, I'm just gonna put this on. I'm also then gonna use my bonnet to make sure I secure my plastic bag on. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let it sit for 30 minutes. So usually when I do it, I do 20 minutes. This time I'm gonna do 30 minutes. 30 minutes and then I'll be right back to show you guys the final result. Okay family, it is 30 minutes later. I'm gonna be washing my hair and these are the products I'm gonna be using. So this is my Cream of Nature Sulfate Free Shampoo and my Cream of Nature Sulfate Free Conditioner. Those are the two things I'll be using to wash my hair. So I'm gonna be washing my hair in the sink this time because I don't feel like jumping in the shower. Plus, I literally took a shower when I got home right before I started filming the video. 
So this is going to be much, much easier for me. So I'm just using some warm water. This is my preferred way to wash my hair. So first, I'm just using the shampoo to shampoo my hair and make sure I get all the rice water out of my hair. After the shampoo, I'm going to apply my conditioner. And guys, again, when you do this, make sure you're getting all the products out of your hair by thoroughly rinsing your hair out. After that, once my hair is completely cleaned, while my hair is still wet, I'm going to go ahead and apply some leave-in conditioner and some oil and then I'm going to go ahead and twist it back up until I'm ready to braid it. In this case, it is going to be the next morning because I am tired so I'm going to go to sleep. Okay, so I am done twisting it. My hair is moisturized. These are what my twists look like. Okay, so it is the very next morning. All I'm doing here is braiding my hair into a protective style for the next two weeks, just so I can see my progress. So this is what my braids look like. It's nice and clean. Okay, family, it is two weeks later. I apologize that my head is bent too low. I didn't realize that you guys couldn't see my hair. But this is just the result of the two weeks braid out. I definitely have some new growth. My hair looks nice and shiny. It looks thick and I can definitely see some new growth. So all I'm doing here is I'm taking my braids out just to see how my hair feels. And honestly, my hair feels fabulous. It's soft, it's nice and shiny and moisturized. So I will say that I'm definitely impressed with the result. Did my hair grow longer? Honestly, I'm not sure because one thing I didn't do was to measure my hair. I do have a lot of new growth, but I can't tell if it's longer than the last time when I had my hair out. But I'm completely happy and satisfied with the result. I will definitely do the Yao Women technique and that time I'm going to measure my hair to see if there is a difference. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.